Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pac-Man ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4s and S3s. This is by far one of my favorite ROMs, and it is able to give you AOKP, CyanogenMod, Mod, and Paranoid Android all together. Guys, let's check out this ROM. <laughs> So this ROM is based off of stock Android and Android 4.3, and as you can see, we get our normal options. But if we swipe over to the right, as you can see, we get a separate Pac-Man bar. So basically, under this bar, we get this whole section of different tweaks that we could use to customize our phone. We get stuff from Paranoid Android, AOKP, and CyanogenMod. And basically, you get all the features. So... To start off, we do get a pack in black feature, which has become really popular. Basically, you could blacken your UI throughout your uh, device. So here, as you can see, we get our separate pack console, which just kind of gives us some information about the people building this ROM and how you could donate to them. So if we pop back, the first thing that I did notice is our hybrid properties which is a big feature from Paranoid Android. It lets you change between stock UI, tablet UI, phablet UI, and you could also change DPI of certain apps. All of this I have reviewed before in different ROMs, so I don't want to bore you going over that stuff. As you can see, we get our AOKP settings, which we are also used to, and give us some cool options like kill all, in the multitasking stuff that just kind of gives you a faster experience on your device as you can see we do get Pi and Halo which are two big features from Paranoid Android and we get some more AOKP and Sanjamod settings down below I did notice this ROM had some cool features that I haven't seen before like this little ball bar right here on the side that basically gives you different apps you could choose so as you can see I clicked on the camera and it wasn't able to open this is a nightly ROM and it gets updated every night, so there might be some bugs like that. But just to tell you guys later, I was able to go into the camera and it did work fine. It seemed to only happen this one time when I was making the video. But that's the thing you have to be prepared to face since it is a nightly and it is getting updated every night. So maybe next night it won't have this problem. So just be aware of that. Last but definitely not least, I wanted to go over some of the fun stuff that they put into this ROM. So as you can see, they have a Pac-Man app here, which they kind of put in for fun, but it is a fun game, and uh, I have been playing it a couple of times every day, and it's definitely a fun thing to have that they added. And as you can see, we get all the basic apps. Here's the Pack console app, which we went over earlier. And I wanted to also show you the different animations when going through different screens. As you can see, it has different stuff that you wouldn't see on a normal ROM. So this might be a like or hate thing. So I'm not sure. I tend to like it, but it might be different for you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please make sure to subscribe.